Morning, beautiful people. Uh, this is John Hobbs coming to you from Carolina Beach, North Carolina. Uh, truth of the matter is, I'm standing in front of the St. Paul's United Methodist Church here at Carolina Beach. John and I ran into some weather uh, that keeps us from being on the beachfront this morning. So here we are at a church where I preached my first sermon when I was 16 years old. The bread today comes from the 10th chapter of Mark's Gospel. Begin our reading with verse 46. The storyline here is about a blind man named Bartimaeus who makes his way by some friends to where Jesus is exiting Jericho. As Jesus is leaving Jericho, Bartimaeus cries out, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And then his friends aren't real pleased that uh, he's calling the master. But again, he cries out according to scripture, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And this time more loudly than the first. And the cool thing here is Jesus stands still. And Jesus is not some ordinary Jew coming out of Jericho. This is God in the flesh stopped by the cry of a blind beggar man. And if you will notice, Bartimaeus cries out for mercy. Mercy is an amazing gift of God. It really means in legal terms the withholding of de deserved punishment. But in this situation, when he cries out for mercy, what he's really saying is, Lord, I just need you to give what you have for me. I'm positioning myself to receive what you have for me. Mercy is an amazing thing. I really believe that if we would learn how beautiful mercy is and position ourselves to receive what God's got for us rather than adopting an attitude of demanding from Jesus what we think we need. But Jesus have mercy on me. Scripture says, what does, what does God require of you, old man? And one of the things in Micah 6, 8 simply says that we love mercy. Guys, I love mercy for me. I would have suppose you love mercy for you. What we have to do is learn to love mercy for those around us rather than determining that we're going to get even about this, that, or the other, but love mercy for those around us, that they would not necessarily receive what they deserve, but that they would receive what God's got for them. That's bread for the day from Carolina Beach. My prayer is that mercy would come alive for you and for me, and that together we would experience the high and best, highest and best that God has for us. Have a good day. We love you. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Until tomorrow when we get to do bread from the beach again.